Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Virginia Lohman, one of the social media editors here at the New York Daily News. And today I have the pleasure of interviewing Jack Griffo. What up, guys? What's up? Yo, yo. Star of Nickelodeon's hit show, The Thunderman. True. So thanks for coming by. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a cool studio in here. Yeah, like we it. just finished up with a photo <clears throat> shoot. So yeah, we got a little snaps. We got some, uh, played we got some, some sweet good tunes. shots. Yeah. Had some like Weezer going in the background, all uh -huh. of your faves. So I want to ask you a few questions, obviously, about the show. Okay. You play like I'll a superhero, it. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you're like half villain, half superhero? Yeah. Like well, uh, well, so season three just came to a, a conclusion okay. uh, on, on the channel. And my character, Max, has now turned good. Nice. Finally, yeah. That's so, time. yeah, season one, <laughs> two, he was really uh, into the evil thing yeah. and wanting to be rebellious and so sort of jealous of Phoebe a little very bit. Very jealous of Phoebe yeah. and, and her uh, kind of supremacy over him. And yeah. she's more powerful than he is. So, um, uh, but yeah, at the end of end of the season, end of season three, he's kind of faced with a decision whether he's gonna I'm help gonna his family. Good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and he made the right decision at the end of the day. So. Awesome. Yeah, we always love when people yeah. make good decisions at the end of the day. Because Max always had a, had a good heart at the you know from the very beginning. He yeah. just needed a little bit of time to kind of realize you know what what his uh, true intentions were. You know. Okay, so I've watched a few clips on YouTube of you like you've done a few interviews about this, obviously. Okay, yeah. So I know a few years ago there was like a mishap on backstage or behind the scenes Where? or like Where? you broke someone's nose apparently like pushing a mannequin into a closet yes yes i remember that uh, yes what this is going was on? Uh, are there like other this was mishaps? season one or so yeah um in the i think it was actually the pilot episode or maybe the first episode of the series okay. i had to we were we had a mannequin wrapped in like a blanket pretending it was someone okay but we just we, it was just a mannequin so yeah i, I, I had to, the blocking was me going up the stairs and yeah. throwing the mannequin into Full a course. closet yeah just like just throwing it okay. and our stunt coordinator he at the time he was like he was like yeah just 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 toss it i'll just be use here all your force. he's like yeah just throw it as hard as you can you know i'll be fine basically okay. So, you know, disclaimer. Sure enough, yeah. He gave you, like he said he would be fine. He, no, yeah. So he says, he's you. like, yeah, I know. So, <laughs> you know, take one. I, I, I do it. And I don't even see because I do it and I have to shut the door really quick. So oh I didn't even gosh. know. But when they called cut, we, we, you know, he's like wailing. Yeah, he comes, he comes out, and he's got this bloody nose, oh and it just—I guess it missed his hands and hit him right in the face. Oh my gosh! You know, it dangers of being on set, yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. You gotta always watch out. Okay, yeah. so obviously you're a super villain. If you had superpowers in real life, what would they be? You know, I I would like to control time. Nice. I think that would be like the I most useful, the best useful power. thing. Yeah. yeah. Like thinking about it, obviously I get I get asked that question a lot, but like over the years I've really gotten to like evaluate like yeah. what would be the most you, you take useful. that question seriously. Oh, I do <laughs> at this point. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. a good question. You know, it's, it's it's important. Yeah, I think I would totally steal the time thing. That and like maybe a money tree. Like ooh, maybe, money tree. Like seeds. Yes, exactly. Like, lots of seeds. Okay. Um. Awesome. Okay. So I think. Let's see. I feel like I have so many questions for you. My gosh. Do you have a dream role? Because obviously you've like been doing the show for a while. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, so much a dream a dream role. I mean, I want to be on, on stage. I know that. Mm -hmm. That's where I grew up. I grew up in the theater. Yeah. And, uh, so being here in New York is really cool for me. Yeah. I got some friends on stage right now, so yeah. I'm going to see them. And Would you want to do Broadway? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know that it's something that is close to my heart and something... Um, that if I had the time and availability, you know, my, my whole team knows it's important to me. So, yeah. so maybe one day I'll be I'll be on stage here. You know, Very you, you cool. never know. So. Well, I hope that you get that opportunity. Thank you. Send us some tickets here yes, at the Daily News. Yes, I'll let everyone maybe know. Maybe one of our viewers can yeah, get absolutely, one too. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, so let's talk about that. Your theater background. I know sure. um, you're originally from Orlando. Yes. Awesome. Good. Very good. I did the little research. Yeah, guys. I can I tell. I did some prepare. research. Um, and then you moved to LA in I did. 2010. Yes, exactly. Um, so let's talk about that. Like, how did you sort of like enter into the acting mm -hmm. world? I mean, yeah. Well, I had. Uh, I'm the youngest of five siblings. So huge when family. You, yeah, when you have a big um, blended family, it's like, you know, and older brothers. You know, I looked up to them so much. Yeah. You know, you know. I think it's pretty common that whatever household you're in, you kind of like look up to whatever your brothers do. You know, whether they play sports or yeah. or whatever. So, and my brothers are always in the theater. They were in a really. Um, concentrated theater magnet high school cool. um, when I was only in you know elementary school so that's what I like looked up to and wanted to do and I begged my parents and uh, and eventually to let me go out for community theater stuff like that nice. and I would do like my productions in my school and stuff like that but um 
yeah, that was like 10, 11, 12. And then around 13, I, someone suggested to me I, I take like a film and television class, nice. you, you know, downtown um, at the Lisa Melee School. And I was like, you know, didn't really know what that was about yeah. or whatever. So I started taking the class. I, I, I took a few sessions a year later or so when I was still like 13, about to turn 14. Mm -hmm. My mom was encouraged to, you know, um, give me a shot out in LA and that's like a huge deal huge I deal mean, yeah and, and I was in eighth, uprooting your family right you know I had to really think about it and I had to you know I, I remember vividly I came into my my kitchen one night and, and this is back in Orlando and I was like you know guys like I'm still in eighth grade it's you know right now the grades don't really if I slip up it's okay like yeah. I really want to try this I really want to do this is something yeah. that I think that this you know, I would acting. excel at yeah okay. you know the, the the thing because in this class that I've been taking they're you know telling me that, that you know it's all in LA and there's so many opportunities for there sure. so I asked them and, and sure enough my, my mom came out with me for like two weeks the first time mm -hmm. and we signed with an agent and I booked like two commercials in like a couple weeks so my That's agent insane. my agent told mom she was like He's booking, need he needs to stay, <laughs> yeah, so um, so we stayed, and I trained and trained and trained here in LA, I lived in, uh, not here, this is New York, but, yeah, um, LA, <laughs> in LA, yeah, I trained and trained for like two years straight, and um, I didn't book anything for a while, it took a while, and that's what people, you know, I see kids come and go all the time, and yeah. you don't really realize it takes it work, takes it takes time, it takes technique, it takes practice, you know, learning how to audition, you know, yeah. learning how to make fans in the room and I stuff like that. I think a lot of people don't even know that that's a thing, like learning Absolutely. how to audition. It's Absolutely. Like audition just, technique like... is a real thing. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, learning that through, you know, I was about to turn 14 when I moved to LA, 14, 15, I finally booked Thundermans when I was 16. Nice. And ever since then, I mean, like, it feels like a, a whole different world before the show. You For know sure. what I mean? Like, Everything before the show seems like a different world, you know, yeah. as simple as that, you know, totally. it's, it's been like four years now. So it's like... You've done it's, well it's, in four years, honestly, yeah, you're kind of killing it. Thank you. It's, it's, I'm, I'm really grateful to Nickelodeon for the opportunity and they treat me so, they're really good to me as far as doing other things, like yeah. I can stretch my, you know, maybe dramatic muscles or, you know, just stuff that I don't get to do on Nick, which yeah. and Nick is awesome and great and taught me a lot, but... They've also really let me explore yeah. on my time off, and I get to go to an indie film or, 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 or travel, or you know. And they don't have have to let me do that. Yeah, you know? so no, I'm, I'm it's, eternally I grateful it's a great place to, to them. Start, yeah, it sure. was amazing, and and you know, I say was like it's not like it's over, but it's not like we're still going. It's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I know your show was just picked up for a fifth cycle. Well, not yes, yet. No, we don't okay. know about a fifth. It's in our it's in our contract. We have a fifth like available. Okay. So, and, but we don't know. So we'll, we'll crossed, yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> We'll finish shooting four uh, in May. Okay. So we, we shot the first half of the season. We're off right now. We'll okay. go back in January and then go to, like, the beginning of the summer. Okay. And yeah. you mentioned, like, you get to do indie films, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Like, what, I mean, what's sort of the end goal for you? I mean, I know it's so early and it's yeah. great talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. the end goal. But, um, like, what is sort of, like, your, like, I mean, moment? right now I'm thinking about the next chapter. Yeah. And I'm thinking about, I mean, while still trying to put my energy and attention into the task at hand, which yeah. is the show, which is Thundermans, which, you know, takes takes a lot of time. Um, but right now, I'm thinking about working behind the camera, possibly, you know, directing. directing. Yeah, Amazing. I'm thinking about that. That's yeah, exciting. I'm working with the writer, and I have a couple of producer friends, so we're thinking of putting some stuff on on camera and, and awesome. just kind of working and, and seeing how I work um, with, with camera, which I haven't done yet. But, yeah. Um, the past season or so of the show, it's become a huge interest of mine. Um, how to tell stories and how to, you know, create Convey content. That yeah, film. absolutely. Yeah, so, awesome. so there's that, and then there's stage, which we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'm really looking forward to um, Thunderman's not being over. Like I'm looking forward to it being over, but the fact that. It has closed a lot of doors yeah. while opening a lot, but you know those doors close are, are, are soon to be opened, and, and you know I'm not going to be hindered anymore, and that's that's exciting for me. Yeah, so, of yeah. course, you'll get to like grow as an artist. Exactly, and 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 still have a relationship with Nick that you know I love them, and they they're my home, and to be able to explore and use their resources and, and get to know you know everyone. Everyone on the show has been so amazing to me, yeah. like showing me the ropes and, 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 you know, giving me every opportunity that I've expressed that I'm interested in, you know. Yeah, so, that's awesome. Yeah. I know you're also super interested in music, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, and all like, of you it. You guys everything. should have been here. I wish you could have heard him live. Like, he was <laughs> singing and, like, playing a fake guitar for us. Air guitar. Yeah. Air guitar. Love air guitars. Yeah. I always say, like, if I had, like, 
You know, they have the lip sync challenge on TV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would be like the drum sinker yeah. or whatever that uh, would be. Air drums? Yeah, yeah. Like, I could totally do that and make a career out of it. Yeah. Let's make a show for that, guys. Let's do it. Like, I'm here. I need, Call need me an avenue. Yes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, music's, music's definitely uh, an interest of mine. Okay. I had a YouTube channel as a kid. And, um, you know, when I, when I booked the show, I really started putting everything I had into that. Yeah. And I kind of, I stopped posting, um, stopped posting covers. I really was busy with the show. Um, and, my, and, and the people who, who supported me on YouTube and stuff, my subscribers, they're like, you know, you stop posting. Is it not important to you anymore? That's like, amazing that you, you know, have like such a loyal following that they're like, Whoa. yeah, they were like, what's going Jack, on? Come on? Yeah, and I really stash. just, I really just dropped it, and and it's ironic because it's not that music became unimportant to me. It actually became more important to me, and, yeah. and you know, it's it. My life got so amplified and so. Um, and fairly quickly. Very quickly. Yeah. And music became like the one thing that I really had to myself, you know what I mean, yeah. personally. So, you know, getting more into that and like developing my sound and, and figuring out what kind of things I want to do because one day I'll want to be the front man of a band and the other day I want to star on Broadway. So like right. there's there's so there's so much to, and, like, yeah. and sort of tearing And so right now I'm just kind of like waiting till the right time. I want it, I don't want it to be forced. I want it to be organic because yeah. I have experienced that, you know, mm. the, the the whole like Pushing just it and out. just doing it to do it, you know. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want it to be like that anymore. Now I that think I, your fans would catch on to that too, and yeah, that would be sort of like know, a, a the, disloyalty to them exactly. And I think they understand. And like you know, I'm 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 obviously creating content with with the show, and you know, the fact that we get to do that, you know, me and Kira, my my, my co star, will be will be out out and about and. And someone will say, oh, Jack Griffo or, or Kira or whatever. And we'll just, we'll really forget. We'll yeah. really forget that what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, like our job, it becomes so normal. You know, we lose sight of the fact that what we do in front of those cameras really affects, affects the people. youth and, and, mm -hmm. the, and the next generation. For and sure. um, it's, it's a big deal. And when you, when you see that and kind of, kind of realize that, you know, we'll talk about it every now and then. And it's, it's a big deal. And yeah. um, it's been amazing, truly. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I want to talk a little bit more about that, that idea of, like, do you ever have issues or a hard time sort of separating fiction from reality? Right. In terms of, like, I don't know, like, turning off Max. Or, I mean, yeah. he's a superhero, so yeah. probably not in that aspect. But Well, um, can you rephrase the question? I'm trying to, like, trying to like find the answer. Let's see. Um... How can I rephrase this? I feel like you are you make your living mm -hmm. sort of pretending to be something else. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So do you ever have um, moments where you're like, I don't know, who am I? If I'm like right. constantly pretending to be someone else, like I mean, 16 hours a day. Yeah, it, it, you kind of lose sight. You know, in, 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 the be, in the beginning, people would ask me, like, you ever, like, ever think you have powers sometimes? Oh, and it actually did happen a couple of times, because we'll be on set so much, and, and it's pretty funny. Like, there would be a couple of times, I remember me and Kira both have, like, tried to, like, like that Red Bull can over there. Like, be, like, come to me. Yeah, and just be like, oh. Yeah, I that's, forgot. That's, that's not like a thing, not real. right? Because usually, you know, on set we'll have some, we'll have some, you know, Omar special effects guy will be like lined up with a fishing pole and just be like, mm, that's like so right in my hand. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's acting, you know. Yeah. Like I, 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 I stay true to myself, and you know, I'm not like for Max. It's nothing like it's nothing serious. It's nothing like a method acting kind of yeah. thing. I just Max is very similar to me. I don't really have to get too much like get into character or anything, nice. but I do. You feel practice. like you channel him now. I channel him, yeah, you know, cool. and, and throughout rehearsal, we rehearse three days before we shoot, so okay. the lines be just be kind of memorize themselves, um, and I can just kind of live that part, yeah. Yeah, I'm always interested when people say that the lines sort of memorize themselves. Mm -hmm. I did an interview last week, and um, they said that they just inter like they learn their lines in the chair, like the makeup chair. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, I mean, for single cam, that that is a huge thing because they don't get rehearsal. A lot of single cam shows don't get rehearsal. But for us on sitcom, we do. We okay. rehearse three days. We'll come in Monday, do a table read, rehearse okay. all afternoon. Come in Tuesday, we'll rehearse all in the morning, and in the afternoon we'll have a run through, kind of like a dress rehearsal. Yeah. Same for Wednesday, rehearse another dress rehearsal, and then we'll shoot. So like those three days, like I don't ever sit down and like try to memorize. It's just we'll do when we rehearse, and I work with the director, and I have my, my pages in my hands. It. Yeah. Like by Tuesday, I you know I'll, I'll start not looking at every line. Okay. By Wednesday, I won't look at the script at all. Interesting. So, yeah. It's, lots it, of and reading. it's that muscle, you know. Four yeah. seasons later, like it wasn't that easy. First season, right. you know. Like, first season, I would have to, you know, I would have to um, 
focus on it, you yeah. know what I mean, getting it in my head, but um, but now it's like, it's super easy, and, okay. and, and it's it's become somewhat of second nature. Second so, nature, yeah. totally. Okay, I have to ask you a few questions about New York, because obviously yeah. you're like an L.A. person yeah, now. Yeah, sure. So, all right, do you have, do you like junk food, or are you like a yeah. strictly like green kind mean, of person? I'll go in like, I'll go in cycles, like when I'm like really training hard, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll diet somewhat, um, but I, you know, I have a sweet tooth. Okay, sweet tooth, interesting. Yeah, so I'm yeah. kind of going to like not ask about the sweet tooth, more about like fat and greasy. Fat, uh, sure, sure, sure. So are you like an In-N-Out burger kind of person? I love or, In-N-Out burger. Or Shake Shack though, I mean. Shake Shack's good. So their shakes are amazing, but as far as burgers. Uh, there's, a, there's a but. <laughs> burgers in, in an outbreak, Hands excuse down. me, sir. Um, What's totally. your order? Uh, number three, I think. Oh gosh, uh, numbers. <laughs> yeah, I he's think. like a legit fan. Oh yeah, and that's, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's three. I just get the the double double. Okay. Yeah. Animal good. style. Oh yeah. Fries too. Definitely, yeah. Nice. Animal style fries. Go all out. There you go. Awesome. Okay, and what about like when you come to New York? Is there like a specific thing that you do? Pizza. Every time I, I mean, I have to get pizza. Yeah. But um, I mean, I have family here. Okay. I have my bro, my oldest brother, who I was talking about earlier, who yeah. did the theater, and he's a stagehand here in New York. And nice. yeah, so he still lives here. Um, and he's got his son. And, and wife, and so I love visiting them when I'm here. Okay. So it's always a treat. Family time. Yeah, anymore. it's definitely a treat whenever I get to go and, and work and also see him. So. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so you're spending like the holidays here or like at um, LA? And do you do big family ho- holidays? Yeah, so yeah. I have, you know, five siblings and all, um, and we like to get together for Christmas. Um, I don't know what the plan is this year. Uh, for Christmas itself, I know I'm going to Lake Tahoe for New Year's okay. with some friends. That's really excited about that. Good there's, for the gram. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ski, snowboard, and there could be there's a, a cool music festival going on up there. So I'm gonna do that. Cool. And then I'm gonna drive down to LA the first. It's like seven and a half hours. Oh my gosh. And we get on a Bro, red eye that night to go to Bora Bora. So, oh, nice. Yeah, I have quite the vacation. I think I'm officially have, jealous. Yes, I have quite the vacation yeah. happening this uh, this this end of year. That's and uh, amazing. Bora Bora has been on my list for forever. And yeah. I, I mentioned it to my to my close friend group, and they were down. And, you know, you know, what other time than now? So, yeah, no, So I have perfect. the time. I go back to Thunderman's January 16th or something okay. like that. So you'll be well rested. I'll be very rested. I'll be tan. Yes. I'll be ripped. It'll be great. You'll be good. <laughs> okay, my last question, which is kind of a perfect segue from Bora Bora. Great. Um, since you're in LA, beach or city life? Ooh, that's that's tough. It, I'll go in moods. Like, it, it depends. I love being here in New York. Yeah. I mean, the, the closest thing in L.A. is, is DTLA downtown, and I have a couple of friends that live there, and it's kind of like, kind of breathes the same area, yeah. you know what I mean? But um, I love going to Malibu. It's a great, great beach. Um, Gorgeous. Santa Monica is cool. It's got a lot of uh, touristy stuff, the pier. The best tacos. Oh, my gosh. They're fish tacos in Santa Monica? In Santa Monica? Oh. I never had them. They're great. Seriously delicious. I'll like, I'm trying. salivating things. Nice. <laughs> Daydreaming about the fish tacos. Seriously. Well, I think we got to wrap it up, guys. Jack, thank you so thank much you. for coming. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah. so much fun with you. And again, thank you for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs>